Okay, guys, look, uh, you guys know more about football than I'll ever know. But, RC, when I look at these guys, Green Bay, they're running the football. It looks like Aaron Rodgers' thumb is healthy. Uh, seems like he's trusting those wide receivers a lot more than that. And those cornerbacks are beasts. Well, uh, are, 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 they, are they a dangerous team? Right I mean, it depends on how you define dangerous. You know what I mean? Like a, a BB gun can be dangerous, but will it kill you? And so when you think about some of those things, it depends on how you look at the Green Bay Packers. But what they are doing is winning football games the way that we expected them to win football games the entire season. Mm. This defense is now becoming dynamic, turning the football over, even scoring points as we saw yesterday with Darnell Savage on the return. And also what they've learned to do offensively is we're going to run the football with Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon being that physical back near the goal line, and we're going to let Aaron Rodgers make those errors. Aaron Rodgers plays ever so often, but yesterday wasn't about the quarterback, and I get it. Yeah. It's good to be smug, and we all enjoy smug Aaron Rodgers, and he's watched TV and said nobody was worried about the packs, but this isn't about you, Aaron Rodgers. Let's talk about this team playing complimentary football, and finally, a roster that we saw on def defensively that we thought could be impactful is doing that. Matt LaFleur understands less Aaron Rodgers is more offense, and we've seen this team play its way into the playoffs, and they're going to be a scary team because Aaron Aaron Rodgers has history and resume, and that respect will make teams be sure that they're prepared to play them. Uh, just the 100%. Away. And, and, you know, when I look at this, look, the, Aaron Rodgers wasn't even on the field for the first 14 points of the game. <laughs> right. So, to your point, R.C., it's about the team. And this, this defense, yeah, we thought they'd be a top-five defense all year. Well, they hadn't played like it. And I have to give – I have to give you know who some credit here. No, don't do it. He's not here. He's and, not and, here. You, you know, Aaron Rodgers, you were right, but nobody in their right mind would have thought the that, right mind. that Green Bay Packers were, were going to be in this hunt. Nobody in their right mind. Right, Dan? Oh, so did. You, <laughs> you were the only believer. You were the only believer in this group. Somebody did. Yeah. Technically, somebody did. Um, I love you, Rex. I love you. Here's the reality. So, I'm down in Orlando for the Citrus Bowl for RC's LSU game today at 1 o'clock. Um, shout out to the crew for, for making everything happen so I could be a part of the show today. Um, the familiar run game for Green Bay is what stands out. You know, this run game that for a year or two under Matt LaFleur was that, that horizontal stretch with that vertical attack, it's back. That at the snap motion where the offensive line is changing the line of scrimmage, they're creating numbers, the tight end is coming and slicing back across the line of scrimmage. We haven't seen that successfully out of that offense this year. Quarterback under center, there's that jet motion again. Everybody on the defense is now flooring, flowing horizontally, but we're attacking you in the run game vertically. And they're changing the way that they're blocking defenses with inside out runs and the leverage that they're helping their offensive line with. I love this one. This is right after that motion out of Randall Cobb where he was now inserting the block to safety. Now the tight end is the guy that's really inserting inside, and Randall Cobb is blocking the end man on the line of scrimmage. The tight end now is blocking the end man on the line of scrimmage. So the variety of the way that they're attacking defenses in that run game, it's not just running the football. It's familiar to me. That's the standout, and this is the, the, the style that I expected out of this offense. I'll say this. Everybody in the NFC does not want to see – this Green Bay Packers offense, if they're going to play the way they have the four or five weeks. I don't care if you're Philly. I don't care if you're San Francisco. I don't care who you are. You do not want to see this team because of the style of run, the young talent on the outside, and the way Aaron Rodgers is making those four or five for those that RC talked about. Well, the big thing is this. I remember it's probably – Eight weeks ago, Dan and I were speaking about offensive coordinators and the way that they had to get sometimes back to their foundation. And we said yes. Matt LaFleur needed to do that. We actually mentioned Mike LaFleur, who at the time had Brees Hall and the way that they were using the runs yes. and using the motions. We've now seen Matt LaFleur understand what got this team to the NFC Championship three years ago. But what are they going to do when the defense isn't turning the football over like that, when you aren't getting Nixon to score 105-yard kickoff returns? Is Aaron Rodgers going to be able to elevate his play to put this team over the top and I believe that becomes the question we know now that the Green Bay Packers understand the formula they know that they have to turn the football over right. and run the football but is Aaron Rodgers going to elevate himself to that Hall of Fame level to that reigning double MVP level in the most important moments and even when this team has been good lately right, right. 13 wins 13 wins 13 wins we haven't seen Aaron Rodgers do that and so he can get smug all he want he can be excited about where this team is but it's going to come down to that right arm at some point 
and he has to step yes. up. So right. who do who do you have? Because it's a win in your end game against the and let's not let's not fool it. The Lions have been playing well. Yeah. I know who Jared Goff right. has not turned Tell the football right. over Come in on. eight well, games now. Well, the, the the thing, Dan said everybody ought to ought to be worried about him in the playoffs. You better be worried about the Detroit Lions if if you're no the doubt. Green Bay Packers because. All right. They don't care about Aaron Rodgers. They don't care about – they thought they got disrespected by Aaron Rodgers. You don't think Dan Campbell's uh, troops are going to come out? And they'll, they'll play you in a parking lot. They'll play you anywhere. Yep. But this team right right now, the better offense is the Detroit Lions. Mm. So you can say all you want about how great True. that offense is for the Green Bay Packers. Really, this team just put up 500 more yards again. They're the ones in the top five in, in, in the National Football League. Uh, in offense. And by the way, Jared Goff, the quarterback's outplaying Aaron Rodgers. It's yep. been eight games since he's turned the ball over. So if you're feasting on takeaways, you got to get takeaways on defense. This ain't the team to do it against. Detroit Green Bay is going to be a hell of a game. Dan, what do you think? I yeah, I have no doubt Detroit is a very good football team. I felt that they would be in this place to kind of run themselves into the playoffs. I think the thing for Green Bay is this. In those 13 and three years where they were the one seed in the playoffs, it was because of Aaron and Devontae Adams. Yeah. They are not going to at least have that chance to get into the playoffs because of Aaron Rodgers. It is going to be because of the way they got beaten those playoffs with teams ran the football right at them down their throats. So can they stop the run if they get in on Sunday night and into the playoffs? And then the ability to control the line of scrimmage against who they play in the playoffs would be much more determining if they're impactful rather than Aaron dropping back, throwing it 40 times. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.